All right, hi, we're back. I started immediately uh, where I left off, and you don't know who I am or what I'm doing. So, this is Juliana, and I will be driving for this meander through the ABC um, murders. Uh, they're the Agatha Christie um, ABC murders. I apologize, I keep getting the name wrong. Um, it's probably based off one of her books. And if not, then it's some other type of story based around the detective Hercule Poirot. Um, anyway, so last we left off, Thor Gray suddenly shows up after having a conversation, well, the next day, after Don Fraser has stopped by. Um, if you're not familiar with this, this is kind of dropping into the middle of a triple serial murder. So, um... You can go back. There's quite a few episodes to catch up on. Please go ahead. I keep hitting the table. Um, and if you're wondering, as we're, like, episode 15 in, why there's been no change or anything to the style that I'm doing this, other than minor things, it's because this was all done in one sitting. Like, seriously, I, I need to not. <laughs> um, but I I was feeling hyper-focused today, and I felt that it was something I could do. So, here we are. Uh, we're, oh, we're in the process of just running through this. For me, it's lightning speed. For you guys, it's gonna take a while. Um, <laughs> or it's been a while, I should say. Um, so, I'm just trying to catch everybody up in case for some reason someone's jumped in. And I'm kind of reminding myself of how far we've come today. Um, so, Thora Gray is some maid to the third victim. <sighs> Helped out his wife. She has since left the house of service. Anyway, we're gonna see what happens. Um, so, great, wonderful. Uh, sorry for the long introduction today but this is meandering it's kind of what I do um so there's no Zach to back me up or or kind of keep me on task so here we go for real um so we're asking we can start to uh play with this um remind her that she did not see anybody the day of her that the murder accuser of being the killer's accomplice or accuser of having lied. Oh. Let's see. What do we want to do? I'm going to accuse her of just having lied. You lied to us, and I demand to know why. But what are you talking about? Yet, Lady Clark maintained that she saw you talking to a stranger on the front doorstep. Really? She must have been mistaken. Oh. I remember now. I'd forgotten all about it, but it wasn't important. <laughs> it was just a salesman. One of those traders who sell stockings from door to door. Can you describe him to me? Medium size. Mm, glasses. Dark suit and a felt hat. Not the sort of man you notice. Completely harmless. That's why I forgot all about him. Interest. Nothing else? He was very hesitant and shy. Usually door-to-door -door salesmen are very confident, but he wasn't. Hmm. So, do we say that we indicate she lied about leaving church to ask whether she resigned of her own free will or point out her departure is suspicious. I'm going to point out her departure is suspicious. Mademoiselle, the circumstances of your departure do not appear very clear. Mr. Poirot, your questions are offensive. I don't wish to lie. Lady Clark did not appreciate my presence. And Franklin cannot go against the wishes of a sick lady. He is a good man, and he worries a great deal about his sister-in-law. I noticed that you left some personal belongings behind at Churston. Hmm. It was too risky for you to keep these objects, am I correct? Risky? What was the risk? 
Um. Hmm. You know very well what Lady Clark might have said if you had kept these objects. Indeed. These objects were gifts. But Lady Clark would have been convinced that I'd stolen them. By returning them, I put an end to such evil gossip. Yeah. I must ask you one last question. Please reply frankly with either yes or no. If Lady Clark had died, would you have agreed to marry Sir Carmichael if he'd ask you? How dare you ask such a question? Sir Carmichael treated me just like his daughter. And all that I ever felt him was affection and gratitude, nothing else. Thank you, mademoiselle. I will not keep you any longer. Well, that seems interesting. I met Thora Gray on the stairs. Her cheeks were ablaze, and she appeared to be deeply hurt. Poirot, have you offended the poor girl again? Do you have good reasons for accusing her? I accused her of nothing, Hastings. I simply asked her an important question she did not answer. Let us see if we can answer it for her. Hmm. Let us now try and get our brain Yay, cells to work. Close. All right, so. Um. Sorry, um... It's not the one I wanted. All right. Okay, so. Okay, that doesn't work. So. Her two are important where she's evasive and um well that doesn't really answer the question though um i don't necessarily think she's a seductress but we can put that up there and she did take a brooch okay okay those three don't answer the question um There we go, finally. You must know how to read between the lines, Hastings. When Sir Carmichael refers to paternal affection, he's lying to himself. Read this engraving on the brooch. A dark dragon for an angel with glossy hair. These are the words of a lover, not a father. Lady Clark was not wrong. What if Sir Carmichael had fallen in love with his secretary? 
that doesn't mean that she forced him to do so. True, there are extenuating circumstances. She is a penniless orphan, but she is calculating. Just look how she avoided it when asked if she would have married Clark. I see. You think she seduced Sir Carmichael for her own gain, and that now she is doing the same with his brother. Praro, your world is a very dark place. Hmm. Do not get carried away, mon ami. We have another more important matter to settle. Really? Yes. Would you believe that Miss Grey taught me something new? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Okay. It's perfectly clear, Hastings. Perfectly clear. Indeed, a stalking seller visited Andover, Bexhill, and Churston on the day of each murder. We have our suspect. This should be of interest to Job. All right, I'm going to go over and um, get my points for for certain things. Churston, Devon, population 500 inhabitants. Hourly of trains. London, Churston. Trains of evening. London, 6.45 p.m. Newton about 11 a.m. Hmm. Churston, 11.45 a.m. London, 11.45 p.m. Newton about 6.08 a.m. Churston, 7.15 a.m. That, that we've done that again. All right. Hastings' photo album. He is very proud of his bag. All right. Uh -huh. We shall call. Chief Inspector, we are looking for a stocking salesman. I see you have a suspect. Yes. Contact all the stocking call sellers who may employ him. Hmm. Your suspect is a salesman? No, he does not take orders. He sells door to door. Right. Interesting. The hunt is on. Oh. You don't see many door-to-door -door salesmen anymore, honestly. Like, uh, I grew up and we still had a few, but, uh, into a... Are you leaving, Mr. Cust? Yes, I'm going to Cheltenham. You shouldn't travel today. You don't look very well. I have to. I... I have engagements. I must respect them. Interesting. Hmm. Can you get the post, Hastings? And why don't you go and get it yourself? Très bien. What's going on? I've never known Hastings to be so disagreeable. No. So. Royal. M so it's. it's uh, yes, and it is easy. As soon as we. On the one. All right. After. Go to the lap. <sighs> anyway. Daily blag. August thirty-one. Nine. Sometimes. Three. This. Uh, what? Hmm. All right. Anyway, sorry. Let's check that there were no new. No new stories. No stories? I don't know. Are you collecting the post borrow? So he is upset. It is not the right time.
poor Mr. Poirot. I'm quite sorry for you. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. We've a long way to go still. Typerie? No, that comes later. Letter T. The next little incident will take place in Doncaster on September 11th. Oh, okay. So long. A, B, C. I should compare this letter with the one on my desk which I received earlier to see if it does indeed come from the same person. Yes, yes we should. It is not the right time. Alright, here is us. Doing the thing again. Remember, it's the A's, the W's, and the I's, and not in any particular order. Um, hmm. Let us examine this more closely. Let's see, it's. Okay. Certain characters in the two letters. Yes, this I is weird. Right. Let's. Yes, the I characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find some... I know there are earlier ones. Mm. It's just easier it when they're right near each other. Right. Let us compare Try this with the again. other letter. Again, we've got a long way. way. Of course, the W characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find... Yes, the A. Right, let us compare this with the other letter. That's right, the A characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. My theory was right. These two letters were written with the same typewriter. So the thing about this game is more about the way you talk to the other Hastings. carriers? Or characters? Strikes tomorrow. So, anyway. Chief Inspector Jap. He's on another line. Can I take a message? Yes, please, mademoiselle. It is from Hercule Poirot. Tell him ABC strikes tomorrow in Doncaster. He must call me back. Very well, sir. Bien, now I'm going to see what I can find from these burnt documents. I've received the product I need. Hastings, if you do not mind, I would like you to take a few notes. Yes, yes. Oh, September 11th, Armistice Day. Not, uh, no, that's not right. That's November 11th. I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if there was uh, a, something that happened in World War One then, but I can't seem to think of anything. Now, down to work. One of these needs putting in order a little. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, with the armistice day. Uh, brain's not functioning optimally. Um, so. Alright, that's a corner... No, that's not a corner piece. Is that... So... That's sort of an edge piece, maybe? No. Hmm. All right, let's let's do this the easy way. We're gonna start making corners, or not. All right. Um... That doesn't look right. That does not either. Hmm. This does not look... No, you're right.
This piece should be placed here. This page is finished. Hmm. That's done. Three more to go. Hmm. No. All right. Good. Um. Maybe here, or here. That's better. It's so simple. No, it's not really simple. If somebody had actually like really done this, no, not this simple. This page is finished. And that's two done. Okay. Um. Mm. There we go. No? Okay. That works too. Um. This does not look too difficult. You're such a liar, Pero. You only have like seven piece problems. Like, it's not like somebody actually took the time to really rip these apart. That. Sorry, I'm... I'm... <sighs> this page is finished. I, I get that Only this is kind more. of a tedious... Keep going. ...one, so I'm gonna finish this and then call it good. I'm so sorry for it. these keep running long. I do want these to be shorter. Um, so... <sighs> this page is charged... Um, this does not look too difficult. All right, and <sighs> this page is finished. All right, all the pages are reconstructed. All right, um, thank you guys for listening. Uh, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down. Sorry, I'm trying not to sound like these were too easy of a problem, they were kind of difficult. I'm just not particularly a fan of the comments used by the character. Anyway, thank you so much. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Constructive criticism. What you like, what you don't like. Please give me feedback. Um, I know this has all been done in one sitting, so this will really have no feedback for you. But anything you add will be used in future film <laughs> filming. I promise. I swear. It's, it's gonna happen. Um, thank you so much. Um, and have a wonderful time until the next video.